Hi traders, this is Mikael Fuchoe from BestStrategiesForTrading.com Now I'm preparing uh, my chart for the EU markets uh, for the 12th of November 2013. I have about four interesting charts that I'm going to present to you. But first I want to go to the basic of what kind of trading style I'm using. Uh, I put down some points here. First, the background. Uh, I'm using a swing trading style, meaning that I hold a position for a couple of days up to might one two weeks. Uh, philosophy is contrarian. I go against uh, the present uh, price action. Uh, my method is from price action levels, former peaks. Uh, troughs, trend lines, moving average, especially 200 moving average. Uh, I got only looking to charge with more than 10 million dollars in average daily turnover. That's equivalent in, in euros or in pounds sterling. My search method is coming from an own developed scanning algorithm that I'm using with Metastock. Uh, if you are interested more in this philosophy of technical analysis, uh, I urge you to take a look at my tutorial, Technical Analysis 101, on YouTube. That's on my YouTube channel, Best, uh, best Strategies for Trading.com. Uh, according to management, money management, I'm using a position size of 10% at, at the moment. My target is uh, 2. 6% with a trailing star trailing a uh, reset uh, end of day my stop is uh, minus 1.3% also trailing reset and end of day okay that's uh, my facts that's my basic <coughs> I'm gonna take a look uh, just g give you some very quick example of price action levels this is a price action level coming from a peak uh, this is the SPY uh, peak from year 2000 and it, when the price come up to that level it turns around and goes the other way that's coming uh, ending up with a contrarian style you can also having a trend line connecting several troughs and then you have that trend line uh, as a resistant area or you can use the 200 moving average um, you have a uh, resistant every not every time but sometimes when the price is coming rapidly to the 200 moving average like here uh, like here here uh, here you have it several times here here um, so that's what I'm looking at okay take a look at the first chart now from the European market it's tool of oil uh, from the London Stock Exchange um, here I got this pivot this um, this trough from 2011, uh, the low is 879.50 cent. I make it uh, 880. That's my level. And then I always want to look if that particular stock has any earnings coming because you want to. You don't want to take a trade one day and then before the opening the the that specific stock has an earnings release and you ended up with uh, um, having a trade that is opening at 5 to 10 percent against you not in your favor that's not the way you want to trade uh, and here you can see uh, tool of oil doesn't have any kind of earnings release in the near future next chart is uh, Aegon uh, from the Amsterdam Stock Exchange I actually got this peak from 2009 the high is 6 euro and 26 uh, 30 cent 6.263 that's my level for a short sell <coughs> I'm checking if uh, Aegon has any earnings does not have it um, that one is okay next one is Philips and yeah, I'm using this high pivot at 27 euros even that's my short sell level and uh, check 
Phillips has any earnings. Nope. And then I take a look at my last chart. This is a PTNL from the Amsterdam Stock Exchange. And I got this high pivot for 55. That's my level I'm going to use. It's, that one is very close to hit at the moment. Take a look at if that one has any um, earnings coming up. No, it doesn't. So, take a look at the list that I have. Uh, I got 6.263. A short sell Philips 27 euros even and uh, PTNL uh, Dutch share 4.55 euro short sell as well and tool of all UK uh, long limit order at 880 that's uh, my levels for today and as I always say this is my personal opinion this is in any kind and not an advice for anyone um, this is how I trade and gave you the background and if you do any kind of financial trade with uh, with financial instruments uh, please do it at your own discretion it could be dangerous it could be risky so don't do it with more money than you can afford to lose thank you for your attention and happy trading tomorrow the 12th of November 2013 Bye.